new GoPro mount. We got this new mount here for the plane. The swivel mount. And a knife. Here it is, swivel mount, you can actually, it's very stiff, which is good for high speed, but basically you can swivel it around. Let me get my other GoPro so I can show you. This is a huge box for this product, I don't know why they would use something that big. What a waste. Alright, here you can see on my paragliding helmet. Got this new swivel mount, so you can actually twist the camera around. It's the only mount that you can do this with. One of those rainy days where you can't fly. <coughs> so I'm at 350 hours on my plane right now. Time to do some general maintenance. We're going to install a new quick valve to do quick oil changes on the uh, Rotax 912 IS engine. Before we go to the airport, I want to show you guys a little bit of a project that I've been doing with a glaciologist this summer. I have some re results now to show you. I use Photoscan Pro from Agisoft to create these maps. Um, this is about 3,000 images here created uh, this nice digital model, 3D model of the Columbian ice fields. And this glaciologist is trying to track the glacier melt over the melt period during each summer. And I'd say that turned out pretty well. What do you guys think? So today I'll be installing this quick drain oil valve uh, for the Rotax 912 IS engine. It needs two parts, it needs this adapter piece and, and the quick drain itself. So I'm going to do this when I need to do an oil change here. Um, as you can see, it'll just be really easy to do oil changes versus Right now I have to re-safety re this nut every time, so this, uh, this will definitely save me some time doing it. We'll see if it works. It's going to extend it quite a ways, so hopefully it won't interfere with the cowling. I'll let you guys know if it does or not. So here we've got the two components. This one spins into your oil tank, and then this spins into the adapter here, just like that. So it's going to be fairly long. Both of these have safety holes in them so you can safety lock these uh, nuts from spinning. I'll show you what's on there originally. So you basically just have a nut here. And we're going to take that nut off and put this on. You can see it's pretty long um, but it looks like it will clear the cowling. We'll see. If you have a tail dragger, you want to elevate the tail so that the body is flat when you're draining the oil. 17 millimeter wrench and a 19. There you go.
You're going to need two 19 millimeter wrenches to do this. So all we have to do now is safety wire these two to this. Installed, I got the safety wire. I attached each piece to this nut here. I was debating between safety wiring both to this or safety wiring this one to that one. If you guys let me know in the comments below what you would do, that'd be appreciated. Um, but I figured I'd be better off safety wiring both of these separately to this nut that's attached to the oil tank. Um, just because it's extra safety in case uh, this one lets go for whatever reason, this one will still hold it. Um, as if uh, if this one was safety wired to that, then if this unscrewed, the whole thing would just come off. Um, there, so there you go. Quick release up to drain the oil here. It's probably a little bit of oil left, so I'll show you guys. If you just push up on this and twist, there comes the oil. Right now, I just have to replace the oil filter well as the fuel filter. That's the 50 hour maintenance items basically. No loose wires, there's no cracking of your exhaust. Basically just do a good check of your engine, but that's basically all you have to do for your 50 hour maintenance on this plane. This does hit the uh, cowling, it actually drops down just about an inch here, so or about half an inch. So I think I need to raise this about half an inch. The only problem is that I have this heater pad here that's glued on, so I'm going to have to see about moving that down a little bit so I can move the oil tank up. So I had to revert back to the old plug here for the oil tank because the other one didn't work out. Um, it's just too long. Rotax actually sold me that adapter and they've installed it on other pipistrels so I've asked them what they've done to make it work. You can't raise this oil tank up because there's a groove in here and it just doesn't work to raise it. Plus all the lines are a certain length so you just can't raise it high enough to make this adapter work. So hopefully they have some sort of shorter little adapter piece to spin in that oil quick drain valve and I'll let you guys know if I find a solution. Never get to break from this life in denial A door made out of glass All of her friends think that she's great But I can see through it all that she's about to break
Bumblebee plane. All right, so I got an answer from Rotax about what to do to install this because it hit the cowling. They said to cut off the tip here because you basically really don't need it. So that's, they found what worked for them in a pivot installation is to cut off this barb end where you'd put a hose on it. Cut this off then. <laughs> There you go, fixed. Now I'd recommend rinsing this thing out with some fuel um, just to clean out all the metal shards so it doesn't get near oil before you install it in the plane. And I'll clean this up with some sandpaper too. But I'm not gonna actually install it now because my plane has a brand new oil change in it. So there's really no need to put this on until I do my next oil change, unfortunately. But uh, eventually I'll get it installed, and it's good to know that that was the fix you need to do to install a quick drain on the Pivistro.